to have sugar in the bowl, and I have uh, actually shortening that I melt instead of having it whole. I add the warm shortening to the sugar because, you know, you got to do the creaming thing. Dissolve that. Be careful. It is hot. Then I add my eggs one at a time. <laughs> See? Just like a cake, you're going to cream. Same thing. Oops. <laughs> Don't go outside. Get the egg police out there. <laughs> now that's creamed. Check it out. Vanilla. Now I add a little H2O. Yeah, that would be water. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do. Chocolate cocoa. Add the cocoa in there. Flour. Baking powder. That's what kind of gives it a little leavening. And a little salt. We mix this all together. You can do it with one of them handheld things too, you know. Or if you want to put it on a mixer, you can do that. When the cocoa and the flour are like all together like this now, and you got them like really good and smooth. Here's what I do. Got to get it really good and smooth to get all those lumps out of there. Here's what I do. I use chopped pecans. And three different chocolates. I know. What can I say? Baking sheet like this, little parchment, grease it up. You know how it is. Fold it in. Add the batter in here. We're going to bake this in the oven about 350, 360 degrees. I guess they're going to take about 20, 25 minutes. One of the things I like to do while it's going to get cool is you just take the sort of palette knife and kind of rub it along the sides like such, even though that you uh, greased it well. Now this icing. I've got cream cheese in here with a little milk and some sugar. Really simple icing. And then, to kind of just give it a little southwest tweak, I'm going to add a little cinnamon to this <laughs> for the topping of this. So you want to go really slow. You just a little bit of cinnamon at a time, and you let it work in. And if your icing's a little bit too thick, you just got to add a little bit more, a little milk to it or a little liquid to it. Now, when this thing gets cool, see, we got the cinnamon in them. Icing like this. Doesn't that look good? Now, what you can do, real simple, when you're ready, you just take that cinnamon icing. Like I said, you can do this the day before as well. And what you do is just with a palette knife, you can spread it real thin like this on top. If you want to sprinkle some more chocolate chips on it, you can do that as well. Oh, yeah, you know, just decoration, you know, decoration. I just kind of spread it like this. Then after it gets cool, then you can pack these in the container that you want to take with you on your picnic. But what I want to show you is this real quick. A little warm still, I know, but look. Look at how dense these brownies are. You see that? You stack them like that. They're a little warm like this, but you just stack them like that. Look at how dense. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, what can I say? I'm Emeril Lagasse. I want to thank you tonight for... A incredible show. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody.